after a very good result last time out against Liverpool in the league, we've now got another massive game today against top of the table Chelsea in the third round of the FA Cup. Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 5 of More To Win, my West Ham United series here on the 66-67 to database that has of course been created by the legend that is the Mad Scientist. His link will be down below so you can check out the database for yourself. And yep guys, today we've got Chelsea in the FA Cup. We've done absolutely nothing since the last video, which as you can see up above did include a 3-1 win against Liverpool in the league. Bobby Moore, on the day he got an OBE, scored his first goal of the season. Johnny Byrne with a couple as well, as we did defeat them 3-1. And now we've got Chelsea today in the FA Cup. And this is going to be the team for that game. McElworth in goal. Burkitt, Moore, Brown, Burnett in the defence. Bovington, Redknapp, Hurst in the midfield. Peters and Braybrook on the wings. And then Johnny Byrne up top all alone. And so, yep, let's go and get straight into the game. Why not? Here we are guys, Chelsea going with a 4-5-1, very similar to how Liverpool played against us. So let's hope we can have the same amount of success against Chelsea. They've got Benetti in goal, McCready, Harris, Hinton, Kirkup as their defence. Houseman, Boyle, Hollins, Baldwin and Cook as their midfield. What a moustache on Cook. Let's have a look at him. Can I get his picture up any bigger? Oh, not really, but I have a look at that for a moustache, people. That's how you do it. And then, of course, uh, Bobby Tambling up top, who's got 19 goals for the season. Just, what, one behind Johnny Byrne? So, both strikers doing very well. Might see a few goals today. I'm just saying to the lads, we owe Chelsea, after what happened in the last game, go out there and get revenge. And most of them are motivated, so we're going to leave it at that. And I'm going to make a prediction. 1-0. 1-0 to us, I think. Half an hour gone. Finally, the first highlight of the game. Byrne plays the ball to Redknapp. And can he find a teammate? He does. Goes to Braybrook. Plays it into Peters. And that was a very nice move until the end when Peters' shot hit the post and goes out. And now five minutes till half-time. Hurst with the ball for us. Coming forward. Can he take the shot on? He does. But Peter Benetti with the save. And he pushes it over the bar and out for a corner ball. Which is going to be taken by Burnett. It's going to be an outswinger. Trying to find Hurst, but it doesn't. Redknapp now. Loses it out there, but we win a free kick. It's Peters with the free kick. Tries to whip it in and, well, that was awful. Um, well, that's half time. Not too many highlights in that first half. And it is still nil-nil. We've had 11 shots to their four. And we've had four on target to their three. And possession has been very, very even. And just before we get into the half time team talk, I want to give you guys a chance to be a part of the series. If you would like to be a youth player coming through the upcoming youth intake and to have a chance of being a part of this very famous West Ham team, please do let me know in the comments section down below. Just give me your name and what position you would like and I will assign you a player in the youth intake. And so I'm going to say to the lads, if we can get a goal, I make us favourites to win. Not a whole lot of reaction there. And I have faith, I have faith. Da, 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 da. I gotta have faith, 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 faith. 
Let's end the team talk there and let's get into the second half and win this game. 49 minutes just about gone. Chelsea now with the ball for the first highlight of the second half. Baldwin with it. Goes to Cook. Can he cook something up here? And no, he can't. He just goes to Hollins. Out wide to Houseman. And now can we win it back off him? No. McCready. He's out wide. He's crossed it in. Tambling with a header. And that goes over the bar and safely out. Hmm. 25 minutes left to go. And we're not really doing a whole lot in this second half. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Peters and Braybrook out a bit wider for the minute. And so set them as wingers. And then I think we leave it at that for the minute. Or do I bring on Brookin for Redknapp? Yeah. Trevor Brookin is going to come on in place of Harry Redknapp. And let's see what that does. But there are going to be changes coming sometime soon. Alright guys. In an effort to get something going in this second half. We're going 4-2-4 wide. Roger Cross has come on in place of Eddie Bovington. Hurst is now the advanced playmaker in the midfield. And Brookin is a central midfielder just trying to keep a little bit of balance. Ten minutes left in the game. Chelsea coming forward. Cook in an absolute ocean of space. Plays it through. That's, a, oh, that's an awful mistake there. But Macklewurf, what a save from Macklewurf there to keep the game at nil-nil. When it looked for all intents and purposes that we were going to be going behind. Chelsea with the corner. Fasione with it. It's an in-swinger. Goes to Hinton on the other side of the box. To Cook. And Cook with the... Oh, I thought he was going to take the shot on there. Hinton now. His cross is blocked. And that goes out. Wow. That's the end of the game. And wow. Nil-nil. Not the best game ever. I'm not going to lie. 15 shots to their 9, 7 on target to their 4, possession still quite even. So you know what, I don't want to leave a video that short. I know I don't want them that long, but I don't want them that short either. So we're going to come back for the next game in a minute. I'm just going to go assertive. I'm far from pleased with what I just saw from this team. And so yeah guys, I'll be back with you for the first leg of the League Cup semi-final in just a minute. Alright guys, we're back and it's time for the first leg of the League Cup semi-final against Nottingham Forest. This is going to be our team to line up for this game. McElworth in goal as ever. Burkitt, Moore, Brown, Burnett as the back four. Bovington, Brookin, Redknapp as the midfield three. Peters and Braybrook on the wings as ever. And Johnny Byrne up top. And now we're the favourites for the game according to the bookies. Very nice to see that. 5-4 to four to win the game. Even though Forest have had the better form as of late. But let's hope that A. We get more goals than we had in the last game. Which wouldn't be hard. And that B. We, we can get ourselves into a decent position for the second leg. And Forrest going with a 4-4-2. Grummet in goal for them. Winfield, Chapman, McKinley, Brindley as the back four. And is that, is that Alan Hinton? Yes, it is. He's a name I do recall from reading about, from reading about Brian Clough's time at Nottingham Forest. Hinton, Newton, Storymore, Whitefoot as the midfield. And then their star striker, Joe Baker, who I am in the process of trying to buy for us we're trying to get him so you never know he might put on a decent performance try and impress us and he's up top alongside frank wig frank wignall i can't, can't say me w's today don't know why well, let's go passionate we're favorites for a reason absolutely no reaction and then george michaels would have been the best football manager ever because all you've got to say to these lads is you've got to have faith 10 minutes in, Bobby Moore with a free kick, right on the halfway line. Just goes short, and Brookin plays it to Bovington, to Burkitt out wide. And can he find a teammate? He does. Peters, can he get a cross in? No, but he plays it to Brookin, who's in a little bit of space. Is he going to take the shot on? He is. And that just curls wide of the post. 27 minutes in, 
And one bit of news, Joe Baker has gone off for Nottingham Forest, which if it is an injury, we don't want it to be too bad, since we're trying to buy him. And Johnny Byrne has a shot, and that goes off the keeper and out for a throw-in. Half an hour gone, Moore with another free kick, Bovington again, Brooking. And now can we find Johnny Byrne, please? Apparently not, Brooking to Braybrook, cuts inside, does get it to Byrne. He takes the shot on, and Grummet with the save, and nobody really reacting to put the ball in the net there off the deflected save. The highlights are thick and fast in this game, certainly making up for the Chelsea one, but still no goals. And Burkitt, is he going to get the ball? No, nope. Bobby Moore is. Plays it to Bobbington, to Brooking again. Back to Bobbington, Peters. Can he get a cross in? He does. And Chapman heads it away. Redknapp in space. Takes a shot on and oh, what a goal that would have been. Grummet with a goal kick for Forrest. Goes to Story Moore. And Brown just intercepts it there easily. And Johnny Byrne all on his own. He needs a teammate. He drags it back. Braybrook's there. And he scores the opening goal of the game. His fifth of the season. And what a pass back from Byrne this is. How he saw Braybrook there, I don't know. But it was a very, very good pass back. And Braybrook made absolutely no mistake. Grummet maybe should have done a little bit better actually seeing it there on the replay. That is half time lads. 14 shots to their 5. 6 on target for us to their 4. And 54% of the possession to their 46. And we do have the lead. As long as we stop Forrest getting an away goal, then I will be very happy. And have a look at that for a game in the other semi-final. Man United versus Leeds. One of those two are going to be the one we're going to be facing in the final. To be honest, I'd rather it be Man United after how we played against them. In the first game in the league against them. And let's go passionate here. Back in this game. Before we get too far ahead of ourselves. Things are going well. But I know you're capable of even better. They apparently don't know that. Until I start with the old hacky faith of faith of faith. 46 minutes gone. A minute into the second half. Hinton with the ball off the corner. And what did I just say. About not giving Forrest an away goal. Of course they've got it. And of course it's the man I was talking about before the game. FM can hear me. I'm absolutely sure of that. Taylor with the, with the ball. Just played it back to Hinton. And there was nobody to close him down. And he took a long shot on. And absolutely drilled it into the bottom corner. But immediately following that. We're on the attack again. Burkitt with it. Redknapp with the header. And over the bar that goes. An hour gone. McElworth plays the ball out wide to burn it. And now can he get it forward? Does he goes to Redknapp? To Brooking. And his ball over the top. Johnny Burns already made the run. He's in a bit of space here. He's taken the shot on. Grummet has just parried it out. And Peters, can he get the ball back in? Nope, he goes to Bovington who... Don't know what exactly that was. That was an absolutely awful cross. Burkitt with it. With 65 minutes gone. He gets it back again. Goes to Peters. Burns got to start making a run soon you would think. And Peters trying to play it through. He does. Burns in space. He takes the shot on. We lead once again in this game of football. Johnny Burns with his 21st of the season. What a goal that was. Peters it was making it. As ever, with the pass down the left. And beautifully done there. Knew exactly where Johnny Byrne was. And we are looking like we might just be 90 odd, no, 100 odd minutes away from Wembley. 73 minutes gone. Brooking to Bovington. To Brooking. Into Peters. And his shot there. That was always going wide. Alright, 15 minutes left to go. We've made a couple of changes. Trevor Brooking is looking knackered. So I've taken him off for Ron Boyce. 
and Alan Seeley is coming on in place of Peter Braybrook. Just about five minutes left of normal time. It's them coming forward with the ball. Newton has it on the edge of our box. Goes to Taylor. To Newton. He plays it out wide to Winfield. Can we please just keep this score how it is? Hinton with the cross. McArthur's oh, Wignall just tapping it away. Off a deflection there. And Forrest have not one but two away goals. And it's 2-2 two, two at the moment. Hey, let's have another look at this. Winfield cross. Nope, went to Hinton. He crossed it, hit McArthur, hit our defender. Who was it it hit? Uh, Burnett it hit. And then it just landed at Wignall's foot. And of course he was never going to miss that. Oh, are they saying this was offside? No, it wasn't. Nowhere near offside. Although, having seen the offside rule in VAR over the weekend in real life football, I've got no idea what is offside anymore. And now we've got one more attack. Can we get a lead going into the second leg? No, we can't. Oh my God, we might be going behind here. No, no, no. MacArthur to Winfield. We win it back. Redknapp, Seely Into Boyce. Play it again. Play it. He has. It goes to Bovington. Shot. And what a save there from Grummit. A minute left in the game. Burn it with the corner. Redknapp's header. And I think that is going to be all she wrote, people. 30 seconds left. And Forrest have got a free kick here. Leons goes for the shot. Nice and easy catch for McElworth. Well, that was a better game than the Chelsea one. I think you can agree. 2-2. Two, two, and it's still very even going into the second leg. Let's go team talk. Let's go. Go assertive. Um, that wasn't good enough. And everyone's fired up. And everybody is motivated. And so guys. That is where we're going to leave it. For today. I'll be back with you in the next episode. For the second leg. Of this League Cup semi-final. If you've enjoyed this video. Please do me a massive favour. And give it a mahoosive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel. For more FM19 content, follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash badjokesgaming. Uh, join the FM Creators Discord. The link for that is going to be down below. As well as our most recent podcast. Go and give that a listen as well. And yep guys, I think that's just about everything. Thank you very much for watching. Sayonara.